Hello. What we have here is one of the ultimate garbage computers, MacBook Air. Uh, the this particular unit was in the rain, and uh, the top section is actually all in one as far as the uh, LCD unit and all of the inserts of the LCD. And what happened with this one is uh, the water seeped between the layers and I'll show the layers and each layer got some water damage so you can see the water I don't know how well it's visible, but there's the water on there. Um, this is the LCD. Interestingly enough, the LCD was okay, although the connectors um, where the LCD meets, they were starting to rot. So, um, don't know how long it would have lasted. So we have the LCD controller that also has the backlight controller, the LCD that's messed up now, and uh, you can see the residue of water residue on there. In short, if you have water damage on your um, MacBook Air, it's not possible to take it apart. Well, it's probably extremely, extremely difficult. Take it carefully apart, dry each layer. Show the layers. We have the one, two, three, four, and five. So there's five layers inside, plus the LCD itself, the matrix. So, uh, the first layer is the white background, goes in like that. Now, each one of these layers is glued, and it's not easy to take it all apart. I was trying to keep the, uh, this whole section warm. What that did was it warped this layer. And also this layer, the clear layer, gets slid inside right there so when you pull it out you can break it so the second layer one of the nice thing is uh, is that it's keyed so you can only insert them one way so basically it goes just like that there isn't anything highly sophisticated made exactly the same as the uh, regular LCD so we have all these layers then we have the LCD sitting on top of it um, they use screws but everything is also glued together I've tried to keep this whole thing warm just so I can carefully peel the LCD um, no it's not possible but uh, the, as far I found out they're not horribly expensive for this particular uh, MacBook Air so I mean it's sad that something like this goes to waste but this whole section is waste if it's got water damage on it uh, if it's cracked then the only thing you really need to do is you know carefully peel the front end off and uh, take out the LCD part and put the new one in. You don't have to take this apart. I just wanted to show that that's what's inside if there you see the water damage. If you have the water damage this has to be taken apart. Um, there's just unfortunately no other way to get the water from between the sandwich of this. So, 
uh, hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, I'll be doing a video on peeling this apart also. So have a keep a lookout and subscribe.